Hey, Clint here with McClintock Productions. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make some two powerful lights for around 28 bucks each. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, this idea came up. I'm about to do a shoot in a couple of months, and when I went to scout the place, their offices were uh, lit kind of dim. So I knew I was going to need some uh, couple powerful lights in order to uh, shoot it properly. And this is what you're going to need. I found these uh, this light fixture at uh, Walmart, and they're around 10 bucks each. What's great is it has its own plug, so you don't have to do any wiring on it, and it comes with a ballast, so the lights aren't going to flicker. And then you're just going to need uh, two uh, bulbs. You're going to need two daylight, uh, 5000K daylight balance bulbs. You're going to need a couple screws and nuts, and you'll need a metal flagpole holder and a drill and a screwdriver. What you're going to want to do is take the fixture out of the box. You're going to want to measure the uh, center of the fixture. And then what you're going to want to do is take the flagpole holder and then down on the side you're going to want to mark and drill the two holes that will mount the uh, flagpole holder. Now when you do this you want to make sure it's down for further enough on the side to where the, your screws are not going to be touching or rubbing up against the light bulb because they may break and that's going to cause a problem. Also don't drill the holes when the light bulbs are in the fixture because that'll be bad. Once you mark it just drill it. Uh, tighten up your screws and your nuts. That's pretty much it. Then all you gotta do is just mount it on a uh, on a flagpole holder, put your light bulbs in, and plug it in, and you're ready to go. Now the most important thing uh, about this is don't just grab any kind of fluorescent lights. You're gonna want to use the 5000K daylight balance bulbs. Um, otherwise, your your picture may not look too good. Also, you're going to need a couple stands for these lights. Now, you can build your own stand, but I, I would not recommend it. You're not going to want to use a PVC stand. I don't think uh, th those will hold these lights. And I mean, you can make a metal stand, but by the time you get all the materials, put it together and drill it, you're going to be about spending about the same amount of money for just two stands anyway. I found two stands. I got two of them together. It was like 60 bucks, so it's like $30 a piece. And they're air pressured stands. And what's great about that is if you got something heavy on these stands and for some reason if the stand f uh, fails or it's not tightened properly, uh, your light stand is just not going to come crashing down. It's just going to come down really slow so it'll save any equipment that's on there also just get a couple sandbags just for extra precaution and that's pretty much it um, and and there's a variety of other things that you can do I mean you can make your own barn doors you can also get a um, shower curtain cut that up and use that with clips or rubber bands and actually put that over the light and that'll give you some diffusion and everything and I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of light I was kind of worried with the cheap fixture if I was going to get some flickering but I've been using uh, these lights uh, for this segment of the video the whole time and there's no flicker and I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of light that I get this and they're 28 bucks a piece I mean you can't beat that because like a regular like Kino flow light uh, is gonna cost you like you know two thousand dollars each and I, I don't I don't have that in my budget and some like you know LED lights are gonna cost you around like 250 bucks but for 28 bucks for for uh, each light I mean that's that's pretty awesome another thing you can do is get a elbow bracket and then uh, mount that on the back that way you can um, mount these uh, vertically on a light stand uh, so that'll give you two options to where you can have it uh, horizontal and vertical anyways uh, thanks again for watching please subscribe to my channel please give this video a thumbs up and please share this video out that helps me out a lot too and if there's something specific that you would like me to build or review, uh, please leave it in the comments. You know, I'm always I'm always looking for uh, some new ideas. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.